On some percentage problems, you may be asked to find the whole given a part in a percentage. For instance, on this example here, we're asked to find the whole number that 30 is x percent of for each of these values of x. Now to do this, we need to figure out what equation to use. We'll use a to represent the number we're looking for. We can say that a times x percent is equal to 30. And we can simplify this by dividing both sides by x. The x's on this side cancel, and that leaves us with a equals 30 over x percent. So that's the formula we'll be using to find a for each of these values of x. So for x equals 20 percent, we can say that a equals 30 over 20 percent. Now it's going to be easiest to work with fractions in this case. So the fractional equivalent of 20 percent is 1 over 5. So we can say that a equals 30 over 1 fifth or 30 times 5 over 1. Now if we multiply this out, what we find is that a equals 150. So 30 is 20 percent of 150. In the next example, we have a value of x as 40 percent. So we can write a equals 30 over 40 percent. Once again, we're going to convert this to a fraction. Uh, 40 percent is the same as 2 fifths. So a is equal to 30 over 2 fifths, or 30 times 5 over 2. Now we can cancel here, dividing 30 and 2 by 2, so we get 5 and 1, 15 and 1. So we can multiply this out. 15 times 5 is 75. So 30 is 40 percent of 75. In the final example, we have 75 percent. So we can write that A equals 30 over 75 percent. The fractional equivalent of 75 percent is 3 over 4. So we can write that A equals 30 over 3 fourths, or 30 times 4 over 3. Once again, we can cancel. We'll divide 30 by 3 to get 10, and 3 by 3 to get 1. So all we're left with here is 10 times 4, which is 40. So 30 is 75% of 40.